Living in Alaska affords some interesting opportunities. One is that every year, each person in every household is allowed to harvest 10,000 board feet of lumber from the wilderness for free. All you have to do is go get it. <laughs> the year we built our home, my parents decided to take advantage of this offer, so we loaded our truck onto the ferry and traveled to Huna, referred to as Hunalulu by the locals. Huna is a small village in southeast Alaska. In the forest outside the village, we stood at the base of an enormous tree as my dad gazed up to its highest branches. This one will be your bedroom, the kitchen, and the living room, he said. Many of you have heard of the Spruce Goose, built by Howard Hughes. It is called the Spruce Goose because it is built entirely of Sitka Spruce. This is a grade A aircraft quality lumber, meaning that it has very straight grain and it is extremely light and strong. This is the same lumber that we were able to build our home with. When it was all said and done, we spent a third the cost of what would have, we would have spent had we gone to the lumber yard for the wood. Another interesting development in Alaska is the permanent fund dividend. When the state discovered oil on the North Slope, they received a large amount of income from it, and they decided to invest it, and every year since have paid a dividend to every man, woman, and child. That means we get it, too. It's awesome. To every person living in the state, and it's been as little as $200 and as large as $2,000. And this year, with the economy, we're expecting to probably have to pay. <laughs> but anyway, if you have ever built your own home, you probably have any idea of what our parents looked like about six months into building through Torrential Downpour, which is southeast Alaska. So that year when the dividend came around, we decided, we actually debated whether we should, you know, finish the house or shoot the one and go to Hawaii. And Hawaii won that year. So, <laughs> so and we're just now finishing the house. This was like 12 years ago. <laughs> anyway, this next song was made famous by Bing Crosby, the Andrews Sisters, and us. <laughs> Baltimore. Because we are a nonprofit, I beg for money. She got Get shot. Donation boxes if you want to help out. Mostly goes towards food and medical supplies. She's pretty good about posing for photos. We asked her to still flash. She'll show you that pretty side for a picture, and then she'll show you that sad blind eye. So you feel sorry for her and donate money. Yeah. <laughs> this is a tree with the tree rings, and it shows. A little idea of how long trees live. I know, but there's that's where the hiking trails are. There is if you can get up far enough. Yeah, that's sandy trail. You don't want to walk up there? It's so were you the man that was wondering? Oh about yeah. The, yeah. It's a quote she made about. Well, what do these trees look like up close? They look something like this. Look at that. It looks like a brown. Brown with the trees. Trees in there with our little boat. Imagine if you boat. lived here, you'd probably get used to seeing these mountains all yeah. the time. Except you wouldn't see them in the days that it rains, which is pretty often. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of town, a lot of houses down there. There's artists trying to use their new video camera. We'll see how that works. Where are we, huh? 
Must be Douglas Island. Must be Juno. And that must be the ice field up there. Oh, that's Mendehall Glacier right there. Death Valley. Lots of things. Okay. Well, mid season, all terrain are covered with deep snow, slippery ice, hazards. <laughs>